So guys, I know that a lot of details about the new Fire Emblem game have been released, but I actually didn't look them up yet. After the Direct, I needed like a day to recover, so I'm actually going to look into the details right now. I want to give a shout out to Ilami Zoldik who reminded me of this, and by the way, Ilami, he's a cool character, but I like her own Lucifer better. Anyways, um, now like I said, this involves a new Fire Emblem game, not Shin Megami Tensei, or maybe he talked about... Wait, oh, I don't know, I think this is, these are two articles. One for Shin Megami Tensei, one for the new Fire Emblem. So, both of them my Nintendo news. This will be in the description. Let's check out the links though right now. I'm gonna learn this information for the first time on camera with you guys. We'll see the details of the new Fire Emblem games. So, Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem, which looks really awesome. It looks like some Persona type. I, I, I just, I love games that kind of like have that really modern city-like feel, but with like, but the way I like my RPGs, Modern, but with a touch of fantasy added into them. So, for example, the reason why I like stuff like, for example, Death Note. I love Death Note because it's a real modern world, you know, not fantasy or based in, you know, ancient times. It's just a modern world like you and I live in, but something insane has dropped in the Death Note. Anything that follows that format, I love. Attack on Titan is somewhat of an exception because it takes place a little while back, but it's still kind of like a real world, but just. You well, know, no, actually, no, that's not a real world that I don't want it to be. <laughs> Fuck me. Anyway, so, um, Shin Megami Tensei said it was very challenging to add the Fire Emblem aspect. Really now? Um, try to go as an interview with blah, 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 an enlightening interview, interview that is blah, 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 blah. But I'm currently pleased with the development team's work. Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem will be announced, will be launching in Japan this fall on the Wii U. Whoa! Really now? On the Wii U? One other thing that I was curious about with this game is if there's going to be characters from Fire Emblem inside of it. Some people were saying that Lucina was actually in the trailer for this thing. Um, as a result of our collaboration with Lord Fire Emblem, I think many people were going that. Originally, it was very challenging for us to get the Fire Emblem aspect into the game, but we worked carefully with Nintendo to ensure it worked well and deliver the feeling you get from the series. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. We saw that we were able to come to a conclusion and some of the concept for this project. Really? Whoa. Okay, so illusion, illusory revelations and Fire Emblem follow the basic axis of what I would say are realistic characters who suffer from many conflicts and worries in modern day Japan. Okay, in this RPG, it was capturing the feeling of Fire Emblem that was a real challenge during the development of this concept, as this is a collaboration, and Fire Emblem is not based in modern times. So, unlike Shin Megami Tensei, which a lot of the games do take place in the now, Fire Emblem is kind of like an old style game. In this PV, many people find it hard to understand where the essence of Fire Emblem comes into play. This will be explained more in the future, so wait for a follow-up. Okay. Four, our, four characters appear in the spotlight, and more characters. Hmm. So the game is called Illusory Revelations and Fire Emblem, so it's not going to be called Shin Megami Tensei? I don't know. Is that like the official name of it? Hmm. Okay, so basically the summary of this whole thing was that they kind of found it tough to somehow implement the elements of Fire Emblem into this game because, after all, it is kind of, you know, Shin Megami Tensei sort of Persona feel. It didn't look like a Fire Emblem game at all, to be honest. Like, when the trailer happened for this thing, I thought it was a brand new Persona. Like, uh, so, hey, that, uh, that just goes to show you that, you know, the elements of Fire Emblem are kind of lacking in here. There's no character that kind of looks like your old style, except for maybe these, um, summons or whatever the hell you call them, but either way, you guys might find this kind of weird, but I'm actually more excited for the new Fire Emblem rather than the crossover with Shin Megami Tensei. That's just my opinion. You know, I know, I know other people are excited for the crossover, but I'm more excited for this. And not just for the waifu. Um, okay, so Fire Emblem If. Is that what this one's going to be called? If? Hmm. New Fire Emblem 3DS coming to Japan on June 25th. Wait, what? June 25th? Oh man, alright, this is a, oh boy, this is a good reason why I should learn Japanese, because good god, man, like, they got it so early. They're getting it pretty much, like, in, in, in this, well, during the summer. Does it count as summer? Yeah, I think it counts as summer. Still, damn, why so early and we're getting it in 2016? That's just great. Um, Japan will get two different versions of Fire Emblem if, different paths. North America will get one with the other as DLC. I, I, I read about this on Twitter. It's a little bit strange that we're not going to get two separate versions, but I guess it'll cut down on manufacturing costs and whatnot because at the end of the day here, you know, I guess it'll be tougher to distribute a product like this across all the Americas rather than Japan, which is a really small country. They talked about this in the trailer when the cool dude, 
was like talking about Fire Emblem and whatnot, like one path would be more difficult than the other. I initially thought that it was kind of like two stories in the same game, but it turns out each one is an entirely different game itself. The games will have the same mechanics it seems like, but they will be two totally different like story paths. So hey, those of you in the US and Europe will get one copy and the other will be available as DLC. The game launches in Japan on June 25th, while we have to wait for until 2016 to play it over here in the West. If you're interested, the Fire Emblem 3D site is now live, so go pay a visit. Now, here's what I'm curious about too, because let's just say I get the version that's available here in America, I beat it. Now, if I play the other version, do I start off from zero? Do I lose everything in terms of progress that I had from the first one? That's the question. But um, I'm sure more details on the implementation and how it'll work will be revealed as time goes on. So it says the site is now live, so let's see what the site looks like, even though it'll all be in Japanese, still. It should be interesting to see. And um, yeah, here we go. We have Fire Emblem If here. I can't lie, man, the characters do look extremely interesting. This seems like it's more of a dark path. Well, actually, no, they both seem pretty damn rigid, to be honest with you, but I mean... I can't lie, man, I'm excited. I'm very fucking excited. Don't, don't mind the yawn. I guess we'll go. <sighs> but it looks interesting. The characters are appealing. You know, the guys, the girls, they, they all have like this really kind of like pop out, you know, look to them. You know, everybody's kind of unique. And for some reason, the avatars are fully knighted in clothing except for their feet. So, them feet! <laughs> um, I do like the avatars though. Like, I mean, some people were saying they're Robin. They're obviously not Robin. They can't be the same person. It doesn't seem like this game will have any connection to the prior Fire Emblem universes. This character though, the one with the red hair, definitely looks cool. I like her a lot. She's like a Sully version 2.0. I love her. Um, but yeah, we, we obviously can't read this. It sucks. But um, yeah, this game looks awesome. I guess it talks more about the details of the availability and the way the game will be split, the light path and the dark path. Although I don't want to call them light and dark, good and evil, because obviously, you know, it's not that cut and dry. There's more details to it than just one being light, one being dark, one being good, one being bad. It says, like the guy said in the um, direct, each side will have its pros and cons. So it'll be awesome seeing the way the story comes together. And of course, in this game, I know there must be more wifing potential than ever before. So I'm looking forward to it. This game is basically going to be the continuation of the Fire Emblem series that no one thought would happen initially because Awakening was supposed to be the last game. So I find it, I find it really interesting and I know for a fact that the game is going to be a hit, without a doubt. And, I mean, Awakening did so well. How can you go bad from there, you know? Either way, guys, let me know what you think about the, all this Fire Emblem news. Which game are you most excited for, though? Are you excited for, you know, the crossover? Or are you more amped for this new, you know, universe Fire Emblem Awakening sort of kind of game? I mean, I'm excited for it just because there's two stories. So, you know what this means, right? Like, you beat one game, which will probably be a whole experience in itself. I'm guessing that just one of these games is going to be the size of Fire Emblem Awakening, if not even greater. One thing that really would have helped me to reassure this is if it was for the new 3DS, because if this game was for the new 3DS, you know how massive it would be. There would be even more stuff in it, but you know, I'm sure it's still a great game either way. Um, but let me know which one of the Fire Emblem games you're most excited for. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.